Welcome back to the channel, everybody. I'm Eric Hansen with Backpacking TV. Today, I have a very special episode because I'm gonna be talking about something very near and dear to my butt. <coughs> Sorry, my heart. I'm gonna be talking about pants. Uh, so what are the best hiking pants on the market? Well, I actually get asked that quite a bit and I've done a pretty extensive amount of testing. So I thought I would highlight three of my favorite hiking pants and hopefully that will help you make your decisions for what to hike in. Before we get into the video, I'd like to give a quick thank you to Mystery Ranch for helping to make this video possible. I've been working with Mystery Ranch for a number of years now and they make amazing backpacks, including the brand new line of Bridger backpacks. They have a 55 liter and a 65 liter option and they are so, so good. I love them so very much. So if you're interested in a backpack for yourself, check them out at mysteryranch.com. And now it's time to talk about pants. First up on my list of favorite hiking pants is the Rab Radius Pant. Now, if you're familiar with Rab, the gear company or the clothing company, it uh, is from the UK and it kind of has origins much like Patagonia. A local guy who really does amazing stuff needs to make gear that holds up to his own standards. Started in the 70s and now they make some of the best guiding equipment that you'll see out there. Guides love their stuff, and uh, but yet they're not super well known in just kind of the general backpacking market. So I got my hands on these Radius pants and I instantly really fell in love with them. So these are a pretty rugged pant. So these are on the rugged end of the spectrum and they are made out of like a canvas material. So it's almost kind of like a jeans. There is, uh, it's 98% uh, canvas cotton, I believe, uh, as well as 2% elastane. So there is some stretch here this direction, not a lot of stretch that way. But these are a super comfortable pair of pants that is great for hiking when you need that extra warmth. So high altitude hiking, mountain ruggedness, shoulder season hiking. There are classic back pockets, your nice deep front pockets that I really like here as well as small kind of like, I don't know, a lighter knife. And then it's a kind of a no frills pair of pants. Sorry, I'm getting sawdust on it from my uh, workhorse here. But mostly what I like about this pair of pants is that they are rugged. So this would be a great pair of pants for anybody out there who say working trail crews, needs to be going on a trip with lots of bushwhacking, or of course, just lots of scraping. Say you're going through like a canyon uh, where you're gonna be like sliding on your butt a lot on rocks, things of that nature, these pants will withstand your adventure. And they have enough stretch that they are comfortable for even doing some mountaineering, some climbing, things like that. But, uh, but yeah, these are just a great, great pair of pants. I really like them a lot. These retail for $75 which is right where you'd kind of expect them to be, right in the middle of that uh, pants market. $75 is a pretty reasonable price, I think, for a pair of pants with this kind of rugged capabilities. So who is the Rab Radius Pant for? Well, it's for the rugged hiker, the trail crew guy, or anybody who wants to do shoulder season hiking where you need a little bit extra warmth in your pants. Next up on my list is a pair of pants from Koala Tree. Sometimes I wanna call them coal a tree, but it's koala tree with a C. So they make the trail head pant. Koala tree makes the trail head pant, which is made out of four way stretch material. Really nice and stretchy here. It's made out of nylon, spandex, and treated with a DWR finish, which is a durable water repellent finish. That means you can spill your wine on here, you can go, uh, go stand next to a waterfall, get sprayed on, and uh, it's not going to saturate your pants. In fact, it'll just repel right off, which is very fun. These kind of have kind of that kind of more hippie styling uh, on the pants with the elastic uh, waist, as well as drawstring, so no need for a belt, which I actually really do like for backpacking, as well as having some uh, elastic-y cuffs with drawstrings here so you can uh, cinch these up, make them more like capri pants if you feel like getting your uh, shins some sun or if you're gonna be doing some wading through some deep water. Always nice to be able to keep your pants up around your knees if you need it. Of course, they also have 
Uh, nice Velcro pockets back here for wallet and a non-Velcro option back here. I also like the really nice deep pockets here. I love that actually. It's super nice to be able to drop your cell phone in there or something like that and not be worried about them going anywhere, especially when you're sitting down. So these are great hiking pants. They weigh only 10.9 ounces, so they are nice and light for any of your breezy hiking adventures. Now, who are these for? Well, these are like a classic pair of hiking pants. So I think that they are good for your general day hiking, also backpacking trips. It doesn't require uh, any special backpacker out there to enjoy these. I think that these are really awesome. Just another note about Koala Tree is they are committed to more ecologically friendly manufacturing processes. So these are actually made out of recycled materials, including, if I'm not wrong, coffee. Uh, so they actually in extrude that into the fabric, which I think is pretty dang cool. So I appreciate that these companies are actually really trying to make more ecologically friendly products. They look great. They feel great. You can wear them all day and not feel like you just are dying to take them off and get out of your pants. So I really appreciate that. I, the material is really comfortable. I like that they're a water repellent finish, whereas say these are more of like a cotton, so they're not water repellent. These have that factor that I really appreciate. And they are kind of closer to a quick drying material as well. So that's just a really nice pair of pants to wear. These retail for $72, which I feel like makes them a pretty good value uh, for good hiking pants. So these, I believe, uh, are going to be fairly durable. They should last me a good long time. They have rip stop nylon, so they should, you know, stop those rips before they even start. All things considered, I think this is a great midway hiking pant that is good for everybody across the spectrum from new day hikers to hardy backpackers alike. One other note about these pants is that they come in a slim fit or a regular fit. And uh, for those of you out there or who are interested in knowing about the fit, uh, the regular fit is pretty loose and baggy. So if that's your style, you like that extra room to move, uh, then go for the regular. And if not, go for the slim fit. I personally prefer a slim fit design. It just feels a little bit nicer to me. And uh, I might like to show off my butt cheeks. So wear the slim fit if that is what you enjoy as well. Last but not least on my list of favorite hiking pants is the Ferrosi pant from Outdoor Research. Now these I think are maybe the most classic hiking pant I can think of. I've been using these for about three years. They've been well worn in and they are still going strong. These are a lightweight, quick drying pant that is also got a little bit of that stretch that is basically just good at everything it tries to do. So whether you're a rock climber, a mountaineer, a day hiker, a backpacker, these are just such good pants. As a side note, uh, my girlfriend really likes how my butt looks in them. So uh, you can tell what's most important to me is mostly like what looks good. And uh, I think that these are winners on all fronts and including the back, uh, fronts and back, a winner, all front and back. <laughs> uh, you've got, you know, double pockets on the back. Uh, you've got your typical nice pocket in the front, which I definitely like. Although I would say the only downfall is that I wish these were just a tiny bit deeper. They are not the most deep, but they do. They do the job just fine there. And then you, I like this, uh, this thigh pocket here. So I like putting lighters in here or a knife in here, or just kind of whatever, a trail snack or something like that. It's a nice place to put a phone if you need to, but I just really like the design. There's some other thoughtful things. This little uh, fabric waist belt is really very comfortable. It takes away kind of any sort of itchy, grabby parts that might uh, be working in your pants that is no good, that nobody wants. So it's just a, a lot of really thoughtful design there. And like I said, they are rugged and they can hold up to a long lifetime of backpacking. They're made out of nylon and spandex, and uh, much like these other pants, they're going to have some water repellent features. So if you're out in the rain, uh, a light rain, you don't even need to worry about wearing rain pants. It'll just shed right off. Now it does at some point reach its saturation and it will start working its way into the pants. So if you're in a full on rainstorm, you still need rain pants or something like that. 
but if it's warm out, you'll just dry right off really quickly and that's always nice. These pants weigh in at 12.5 ounces, so they are a nice lightweight pant. They just feel light and airy and they are well, well suited for summertime hiking and your classic three season hiking when it's not super cold. Now they are thin, they are not the warmest pants that I've ever worn, so if it is cold temperatures, you can either pair these with a pair of long johns or something like that, or go to a thicker, hardier pair of pants. But these are just such great hiking pants, I feel like it's just kind of the classic hiking pant with that lightweight, water repellent, quick dry finish. The Ferrosi pant from Outdoor Research retails for $75. You can see a trend here. These are all 75, 72, 75. Very equally priced. And I feel like this gets the full spectrum. You know, you've got your more rugged, your, your climbery, lightweight, midweight pants, and then your ultra light, um, and then your very lightweight classic hiker pant here. So I think, who are these pants for? They're for everybody, they're super comfortable, they're for day hikers, they're for backpackers, they're for rock climbers, they're for mountaineers. These will stand up to any adventure you can throw at them. So that's my video. Those are my favorite hiking pants. Uh, I hope I nailed this list, but uh, if you have a favorite pair of pants that you highly disagree with me, I think I got it wrong, please file your grievances below in the comments. I would love to hear from you. I'm always looking for great gear, great hiking pants, things like that uh, for me to know about because I go hiking so dang much that uh, I gotta know for myself. So uh, that's it, that's my video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did like the video, please give it a thumbs up here and make sure that you are subscribed to the channel. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Eric Hansen. I'm out of here. Whew, that was a good one.